We're now watching the walk. Tell you today news. A number of researchers at universities, including the University of California, Davis, have been looking at people who might be at risk for developing schizophrenia. What they're looking at is whether or not cannabis is part of that problem. For years, people have said that cannabis might lead to psychiatric problems like schizophrenia. What the researchers are saying is actually, it turns out people who use cannabis were less likely to have psychotic episodes and had a more positive view on life in general. Also in news, New Jersey is using $5 million of its cannabis revenue to fight violence in its state. It's looking at breaking patterns of violence and cycles of violence. It's looking to help people who are in gangs get out of gangs. And people who are plagued by gang activity find opportunities in those neighborhoods. New Jersey is just a number of states who have been doing a lot of good with the revenue they're making from cannabis. Massachusetts, Illinois, and California, Colorado have all been able to put a ton of money towards social programs to help get people off of hard drugs and addiction, as well as improve schools and neighborhoods with the community impact fee. A lot of towns and neighborhoods in Massachusetts are making a lot of money just by merely having the cannabis facility in their neighborhood and the data is showing when people have access to cannabis the teens are less likely to get into hard drugs or even use cannabis they actually use about as much as teens who don't have legal access or they will use less cannabis because what happens a lot of times is when you have access to legal cannabis and the prices get low enough it actually eradicates all of the legacy operators also in news nebraska is cracking down on his Delta products under the hemp law, the products have THC, have to have less than 0.3 THC to be considered hemp. They make no distinction between THC that is derived from Delta 8 or Delta 10 after some chemical process. So what's happening is they're doing these sting operations and they're grabbing all their items for sale and testing them. And it was one place in Nebraska, or a few places anyway, that had a lot of THC that was derived from Delta 8 and Delta 10, and those products were confiscated. Nobody has been arrested yet. It's a sign that not good news is coming for Delta 8 and Delta 10 businesses and consumers. Thanks for watching The Wash Daily.